And for this week's Pro-Life Focus, we'll talk the latest in the trial of pro-life husband and dad, Mark Houck. Houck faces trial this week in Philadelphia. He has been charged with violating the FACE Act after protecting his son from an alleged altercation in 2021 outside of an abortion business. Houck was arrested by several FBI agents during a dramatic dawn raid on his home that traumatized his wife and seven children. Joe Bacurus is a correspondent at our sister publication, Catholic News Agency. He is in Philadelphia this week monitoring Houck's trial to provide us with live updates, and he joins us now. Joe, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to step away from the proceedings to speak with us. Can you update us on what's happening in the trial right now? Thanks for having me, Prudence. So today opening arguments began, so the prosecution let off, and they gave their argument about how Mark Houck allegedly uh, approached uh, Bruce Love is, is now the name we know of the Planned Parenthood clinic escort. Um, and they claim that he uh, approached Bruce Love and pushed him uh, to the ground once and uh, elbowed him a uh, second time. Hmm. Uh, we did see video uh, of the altercation, and we did see that uh, Hauk did push down uh, Bruce Love. Uh, it was after Love had approached Hauk, uh, then walked away. It seems like there was some uh, words being exchanged uh, in the defense's opening statement. They said that Bruce Love was approaching Houck and harassing Houck's 12-year-old son, who was there with him, sidewalk counseling, handing out brochures to women. And so those are arguments that we're going to see further de developed uh, throughout the length of the trial. Um, it was interesting to see the video evidence today. Um, but what was interesting is we did not see video evidence of the first uh, alleged elbow push from Mark Houck to uh, Bruce Love. Mm. And the defense brought up that point in their argument, and they said that it's interesting. Why isn't that video there? Why did why don't we have it? Why do we have from the same camera the first push? Uh, I'm sorry, the second push, but not the first push. Mm. And he, it seems like to, he asked a, a rhetorical question to the jury and said, ask yourselves what's going on here. Use your common sense. So you know, I'll let the viewers uh, decide what they what they think about that for themselves. Mm. But so far, there's only been one witness. It was the CEO of uh, Planned Parenthood of Southeastern Pennsylvania. And the conversation so far has been around what is the job and the responsibilities of a clinic escort. And um, the defense is uh, is making arguments that um, that Bruce Love actually violated Planned Parenthood's escort policies. And um, the prosecution seems like they're trying to defend um, uh, Bruce Love's uh, actions as, as an escort. So that's going to develop further today uh, during the cross-examination. Very interesting. And and could you explain exactly what the FACE Act is and, and how it could be violated? The FACE Act is a federal law. It was passed in the 90s, and it basically says that you cannot interfere with uh, someone or, uh, who is providing reproductive health services. So abortions. And um, in this case, what they're saying is that Bruce Love, a clinic escort, um, is attempting to provide reproductive uh, health services to uh, two women who he allegedly was leading into the clinic. And they say that by Mark Houck pushing him down, he therefore was trying to um, stop him from providing uh, reproductive health services. The defense says that uh, Houck was just defending his son from being harassed by uh, Bruce Love, who was 72 at the time mm. of the incident back in 2021. Mm. Interesting. And talk to me about the energy around the courthouse leading up to this trial beginning. Were, were people around supporting Mr. Houck, opposing him? What's, what's it like there? Well, I haven't seen anyone opposing uh, Mark Houck, but I have seen a huge crowd of supporters out in front of the courthouse yesterday uh, when there was jury selection going on. There was a, uh, a big rally for Mark Houck. There were signs saying things like justice for Houck, uh, criticizing the Justice Department for uh, targeting pro-lifers. And there was it was filled with prayer and uh, songs. They were on their knees singing Amazing Grace. Mm. Uh, there was testimony from uh, members of Houck's family, uh, Mark Houck's mother-in-law, uh, Kathleen McCarthy, gave a, a strong testimony, uh, ending strongly with Mark Houck is the real deal. I mean, you can clearly tell that these are people of faith. These are people who have a strong trust in God. And it's not just Catholics, because Mark Houck is a strong Catholic. Um, one of the people leading the charge is, uh, is an evangelical pastor who's been working with Mark Houck for over 20 years, he said. And uh, 
and he was there uh, leading the rally and um, inviting people up to speak, giving mm -hmm. his own testimony, leading prayer. Yeah, in fact, even today in the courtroom, uh, I was sitting next to the pastor and, and Mark, during a break, came over to him and he said to him, uh, I'm something to the effect of, I'm honored to be in the courtroom with you today. And he asked the pastor to pray for him. And they both kind of embraced each other uh, right in the middle of in the courtroom. And and uh, the pastor started praying for him. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was a really, it was a really amazing thing to see. And the pastor said to me after that, you know, that just shows you how, how humble Mark Houck is. Mm, indeed. Yes. Yeah, seems like a man of faith. Well, Joe Bacurus of Catholic News Agency, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck with the rest of your week. Thanks, Prudence.